Hi, I'm Karen, and Gavin and I are ready to do 45 minutes of yoga with you today. So this is a Skype class that I videoed, uh, so some of the directions might be different, but as long as you either do what you hear me say or what you see me do, um, you will be even in the end. Um, we're going to work on strength and flexibility and balance and breathing. So let's just get ready to work things at your pace. Um, you will need a yoga strap, karate belt, necktie, anything like that, as well as a mat, and just a good attitude ready to work on those things for yourself and not to compare yourself to anybody else. Okay, let's do this. All right, ready to get started for yoga today. Thank you for joining me. Um, this is Bella. She won't stay long. She wanted to make sure and be in the video. <laughs> And Gavin is assisting me today. Um, so I hope you guys are ready to just relax, to stretch. Let's actually start on our back today, okay? Oh, we are gonna use a yoga strap. So if you'll just make sure that you've got some type of yoga strap to use. And you can go ahead and lie on your back. We're going to put our feet on the mat and take those feet a little farther apart and just allow them to fold and just to lean in towards each other. So as you're sitting here breathing, I want you to let that belly lift and lower with each and every breath. I want you to honor that natural curve in your spine so you're not trying to press the low back down. You're not trying to arch it up, just that natural curve in your spine. Breathing in and out of your nose. You can even close your eyes for this first minute or so, just to get yourself fully present here. Let go of any distractions. Just make that decision to have the best yoga practice you can. And as you gently open your eyes, you can just kind of start to windshield wiper your knees. So take those knees over to one side and pause for a second. And then take those knees over to the other side. And just do this two or three times. Breathing in and out through your nose. Good, and on the exhale, we can walk those feet towards our fingertips and just gently lift up into a bridge. Doesn't have to be real high, but just waking up that spine. And on your exhale, go ahead and peel that spine down slowly. Just bring the knees in towards the chest and draw some circles with our knees. To massage that low back gently in both directions. Good, let's roll into your right side. Just you can lay that head down and just grab that left foot with your hand and let's gently press that left knee down. Taking some deep cleansing breaths, that left heel is pulled to your backside. Good, and on your exhale, let's roll to your stomach. Come onto those forearms. And just sit up into that sphinx pose so you're not letting yourself collapse into your shoulders. You're gently lifting that head up and chest pulled forward. Good. Then you're going to roll into your other side. You're going to pull that heel up and press that knee down. And as you exhale, let's roll back to your stomach. And let's put our palms underneath our shoulders and just gently lift yourself up into Cobra. If 
Sphinx is better for you at this point, that's fine. You can stay in your elbows. And let's take those knees apart, big toes together, and sit back in child's pose. But just allow those hips to sit back as far as it's comfortable for you. And on our exhale, let's go ahead and tuck those toes under and come to down dog. Let's spread those fingertips apart. Lift those hips up into down dog. Feet are just hip width apart. Lifting the hips up high and allowing that head and chest just to sink down. Good, on our exhale, let's go ahead and walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. And let's take our right toes up to the ceiling. So fingertips on the ground, right toes up to the ceiling. And you're gonna walk your hands towards your left leg, nose towards your knee, right toes reach up. If you want to, your left hand could hold the ankle, it doesn't have to. So inhale, lift those right toes way up. Good, and let's place those feet down. Let's cross our forearms and hold our opposite calf. Straighten those legs, nose towards your knees. And let's release. Let's glance up and reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. Good, let's bring that right arm down, keeping those feet together. Deep breath in. Exhale, leaning to your right. With that right hand gently pulling the left arm straight, rest that head and breathe. Good, inhale. Exhale, a little bit deeper, press that left foot into the mat. Good, now let's come on up to the front of the mat. Let's take your right toes behind you, abs are nice and strong, and let's come into warrior three. Now you're welcome to keep the toes down, lift them a little higher, that's totally up to you. Take some deep breaths in and out. Okay. Now let's gently lunge on your right toes, lean back into that crescent lunge. Think about tucking the pelvis under getting that right hip flexor stretch. And look past your fingertips, swing through. Inhale up. Exhale, that right foot goes back a little farther. Lower down, really tuck the pelvis under and lean it back. Good, now we're gonna bring that right knee to the mat. And we're gonna put our hands on our left thigh. So sink that right hip flexor forward. Straighten your arms, chin in your chest, and think about pushing your shoulders down. Continue to sink forward onto your right hip flexor. Good, on your exhale, we're gonna bring the palms down. Go ahead and bring both knees to the mat, and let's do a nice cat stretch. Glancing up. And with your right wrist directly under the shoulder, let's extend that right leg behind you. Reaching that left arm nice and long <laughs> into your spinal balance. If you want to, that right foot can come in the air. Left hand can reach around to grab it. And we can take that right foot up towards the ceiling. Lift yourself out of that right shoulder. Deep breaths in and out. Inhale, really lift. Exhale, let's extend out, reach. And bring your hand and knee down. Let's sit those hips right and bring your right hand on top of the left. Good, on twist, do another nice cat stretch. Glancing up to the ceiling. And let's come to our plank. So your wrists are below your shoulders. Abs are strong. Let's come on down nice and slow. Up dog, open that chest, lift that head up. Feel free to do a push up if you want to, and then down dog. 
And now let's pedal those feet, bending one knee and then the other. Really loosening up those lower legs. And let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. So fingertips are on the ground and you're gonna bring your left toes to the ceiling. Feel free to keep that right knee bent, that's fine. Now we can walk our hands closer to our right foot if you want to. Nose to the knee, left toes reach. Right hand can hold the ankle only if you want. Inhale, reach those left toes up. Exhale, let's place those feet together. Hey, if you guys would make sure you're on mute, that'd be great. So let's cross our um, arms around our thighs and hold on to those elbows. Gently start to straighten those legs the best you can. Deep breath in. Exhale, let's release. And let's glance up, reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. And let's bring that left arm down, feet are together, deep breath in. Exhale, leaning to your left. Good, let's use that left hand to gently pull the right arm straight, resting your head. Inhale, exhale a little bit deeper, pressing your right foot into the mat. Good, let's bring those arms down. Let's come on up to the front of the mat. And we're gonna bring our left toes behind us. We're gonna find a spot we're staring at for a balance. Abs are engaged, left leg's gonna reach up for a warrior three. You decide how high you lift that left leg, it's totally up to you. Gently, let's lunge on those left toes, right knee bent. Tuck the pelvis under and lean back into your crescent lunge. And look past those fingertips, swing through. Inhale up. And let's bring that left leg a little farther back, lowering the knee a little bit, leaning back. And then let's gently bring that left knee down to the mat. So left knee is down to the mat, hands on your right thigh, and you're gonna sink that left hip flexor forward. Straighten the arms, press the shoulders down, and breathe. Good, on your exhale, let's place the palms down on the mat. Right knee down, and a nice cat stretch. Glancing up. With that left knee, left wrist directly under the shoulder and the left leg extends behind you. Abs are engaged, right arm reaches long. If you want, that left foot comes into the air and your right hand can reach around to grab it. Let's lift the left foot up towards the ceiling, gently press the top of the foot away from you and breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend out, reach long. And hand and knee down. Let's sit our hips left, left hand on top of the right. Deep breath. Good, on your exhale, go ahead and untwist. And let's come back to our plank. Let's come back to our plank. Let's hug the sides as we come down nice and slow. Knees down when you need to, but the chest leads. Up dog. Push up if you choose and down dog. Good, really lift those hips up. See if you can shift weight out of the heel of the hand more towards the knuckles and allow the middle of the chest to sink down. Relax your feet so that that stretch comes straight down the back of those legs. Good, on your exhale, let's reach those right toes up. 
Walk your hands back a little bit, nose towards your left knee, and then gently swing through. Right knee is right above that ankle. Gonna float that chest up. Lean back into that crescent lunge briefly. And then we're gonna bring those hands down and we're gonna get ready for prayer twist. So that right foot is gonna walk over to the right. Left elbow on the outside of that thigh. You're gonna press the palms together. Now, feel free to take your left knee to the mat. If that's better for you today, no problem. Right elbow is up. See if you can scoot your left foot farther away from you. Take a couple deep breaths in and out. And exhale, one hand down and then the other. Left knee to the mat and hands on the inside of that right foot. We're gonna walk our right foot a little farther right and really start to sink this left hip flexor and quadricep forward. Feel free to stay in your palms. Feel free to start bending the elbows. You could come to those forearms. It's totally up to you. Deep breath into the tightness around those hips. Exhale, relax. On your exhale, let's come back to the palms. Let's scoot that right foot back to the middle of the mat. Let's shift our weight back. And if you have enough of a hamstring stretch here, stop right here. You could slide the foot forward. That left knee could slide back. Hands towards that right foot. I just want you to sink that chest towards your right thigh. Relax your right foot. Your left quadricep is sinking towards the mat. Deep breaths. See if you can try exhaling completely, not holding back. End of a big exhale, let's slowly walk it back. Let's place that knee on the mat. Let's take our knees apart, big toes together, sit back in child's pose briefly. Briefly. Big breath in and out. And let's come up to those hands and knees. Arch up into your cat stretch. Glance up to the ceiling. And let's go ahead and come to your plank. Wrists below those shoulders. Abs strong, come on down. Nice up dog. Really think about lengthening from head all the way down to the tailbone. Good push up is optional and down dog. Again, make sure your weight's shifted out of the heel of the hand, more towards the knuckles. Lifting those hips. Enjoy that stretch all the way from your glutes down to your ankles. Let's reach our left toes up to the sky. Walking our hands back a little bit. Nose towards your right knee. And exhale, gently swing that left leg through. That knee's right above the ankle. Let's float the chest out, up. Tuck the pelvis under briefly in that crescent lunge again. And then let's bring those hands down and let's scoot our left foot to the left. Left knee's right above the ankle, and your right elbow comes to the outside of the thigh. Palms together. Press those shoulders away from your ears. Keep breathing. That right knee comes a little closer to the mat as you gently twist. Just doing the best that you can. One hand down and then the other with that right knee coming down. Hands on the inside of that foot. Let's walk that left foot to the left. Sink that right quadricep towards the mat. Feel free to stay in your palms. 
bend the elbows. We can come down to the forearms. Totally up to you. Exhale completely, really letting go of any tension and tightness. Exhale, let's slowly come back to those palms. Let's walk that left foot towards the middle of the mat. We're going to shift our weight back. And we're going to slide that left leg forward. Feel free to stop when you have enough of a stretch. Remember, this is about you. This is not about comparing yourself. This is about what your body needs today. So relax the left foot. Let's sink that chest towards your left thigh. Right quadricep, that back thigh is sinking down towards the mat as well. <laughs> Big breaths into the muscles that need that lengthening. And exhale that tightness away. Good, at the end of your exhale, untwist. Go ahead and bring that left knee to the mat. And let's clasp those fingertips at your low back. Gently pull them straight so your shoulder blades are pulling down. Feel free to lift the hands. Feel free to fold forward if that feels all right. <laughs> And let's release the fingers. Allow your arms to rest at your side, shoulders round. And come on up to those hands and knees. Arch up into a nice cat stretch. Glancing to the ceiling. And let's come back to that plank. Abs are nice and strong. Let's hug the sides, come on down. Up dog. Nice push up if you want to and down dog. I believe somebody's not on silent. If you can check to see if you're on mute, that would be great. So as you exhale, pretend like somebody's hand is between those shoulder blades, really lifting those hips up. And on your exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Let's glance up, lift the tailbone, reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. Good, open it up in the mountain. And I'd like you to take your right leg in front and the left foot behind you. So the right heel is aligned with the middle of that left foot arms are out. Okay, so we're going to move from our waist, shifting forward, and that right hand is going to come down and land somewhere around your shin. Maybe you can get it to your ankle. I want you to glance up for triangle pose. So I really want you to try to roll this left hip open, tuck the pelvis under, shoulders are not shrugging, Right knee is straight, but it doesn't have to be pushed back and locked. Just straight. Deep breath in, gentle twist. And then bring your nose so it's out over the base of your right toes. And on your exhale, we're going to twist our triangle. Our left hand comes to the outside of the, the right shin, and the right arm reaches to the sky. Just do the best you can. Deep breath in, exhale, rotate back so the nose is out over the base of the toes, and then chin down, just bring your hands down, nose towards your right knee. Big breath in and out. And then let's straighten the legs and slide those feet as far apart as you'd like. Sinking that head down towards the mat. Let's bring those 
hands, palms, or, fa or excuse me, fingertips facing away from you. Bend those elbows and sink that head down. Just melt away that tension in the inner thighs and hamstrings. And continuing to breathe, face the fingertips um, towards the front again. You can even slide the feet farther apart, bend those elbows and the top of your head sinks towards the mat. On your exhale, let's walk those hands up towards the front of the mat. Let's bring that right foot back and let's allow the chest to lead. Come on down nice and slow. Up dog, let's open that chest, lengthen the spine. Push up if you choose and then down dog. Fingertips spread apart, head sinking down. Deep breaths in and out. At the end of an exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Glance up, reverse swan dive up, standing back bend. Good, let's open it up in the mountain. And let's bring that left leg in front, getting ready for triangle on this side. So your left heel is aligned with the middle of that right foot arms are out left arm in front now shift from your waist forward keep reaching let's take that left hand down to your shin some people can reach their foot let's roll that right hip open not shrug our shoulders gentle twist remember you're doing the best that you can not comparing yourself to others Exhale, we're going to rotate so the nose is out over the base of those left toes. With shoulders away from the ears, gentle twist. That right hand comes to the outside of that left shin and the left arm reaches up. That left knee is just as straight as you feel comfortable. As you rotate, nose is out over the base of the left toes. Inhale like the string pulls the chest forward. And then chin down, hands down, nose towards your left knee. Deep breaths in and out. Now let's go ahead and walk those hands to the middle of the mat and lengthen the, the distance between our feet. Allow that head to sink down. Let's take our first two fingers, make a hook with your big toes. Glance forward, gently your chest pulls forward, tailbone back, and then the strength of your arms gently pulls that head down. Let's release the hands, fingertips facing front, but back between the feet. See if the feet want to go any farther apart. Bend your elbows, top of the head towards the mat. Good, and your exhale. Let's walk those hands up towards the front of the mat. Bring that left foot back so you're in your plank. Let's let that chest lead, elbows hug your sides. Nice up dog, lifting that head up. Push up if you choose and then down dog. Really let the belly expand as you inhale and deflate as you exhale. As we reach our right toes up to the ceiling, Walk those hands back, bend your right knee and allow that right leg to hang to the left. 
really opening up that right hip. Nice stretch down the right side of the rib cage. And on your exhale for pigeon, slide that right knee between the hands. Let's tuck our left toes under, walk that leg back. Hands behind that right knee, really open the chest. And let's not let ourselves roll to the right. Let's keep that belly button facing down. And let's walk those hands out. Rest your forehead and take some breaths. Now, as you're releasing the tightness all around, especially the outside of that right hip joint, let's look to our right and rest on the left side of the face. Let's slide that right hand to the low back. Just an option, take it or leave it. Deep breaths. And of that exhale, it slowly untwist. Let's glance forward and let's let our left fingertips walk a little farther away to roll that hip back down to the mat. Take a breath. Walk yourself back. Open up that chest. And as you slide that right knee back, let's get ready for your last plank of today. So abs nice and strong, let's hug the sides, come on down. Up dog, opening that chest. Push up if you choose it, and then down dog. Spread those fingertips apart, shift weight out of the heel of the hand, more towards the knuckles, and lift those hips. our left toes up to the ceiling, walk our hands back, bend that left knee and allow that left leg to hang to the right. And then on your exhale, let's slide that left knee between your hands for pigeon. Let's tuck our right toes under, walk that leg behind you. Let's really open up that chest. Not letting yourself fall to the left. Belly button facing down. Let's walk it out. Rest your forehead. Deep breath into the tightness around that left hip joint. Exhale, let it go. And feel free to look to your left, resting on the right side of the face. and sliding that left hand to your low back. Relax your shoulders, wiggle those fingers and breathe. Dissolve tightness with each and every exhale. Slowly untwist. Let's glance forward, take our right fingertips a little farther away, belly button facing down, forehead down, and breathe. As you walk it back, opening up your chest, slide that left knee back, knees apart, big toes together, left hand up, rotate your wrist. Slide that left hand underneath and rest on the left side of the face. Let's place that right hand at our low back. Shoulders flop and wiggle those fingers. Slowly. 
slowly untwist. And let's do the same thing to the other side. So that right hand reaches up, rotate the wrist. Right hand, palm up, underneath, rest on the right side of the face. Left hand at the low back, just let those shoulders flop. Big breath. And let's untwist. And let's have a seat at the front of your mat. Make sure that that yoga strap is near you. Shoulders down, we're gonna come into one boat pose and then we're gonna rock back and lay on the mat. So deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna reach those arms up. One leg up, two legs up, as long as that back doesn't bother you. Reach those toes long and breathe. Slowly come on back. And let's hug those knees into your chest. Shoulders down, glance in one direction. Nice job. And switch. Good, let's allow that left leg to come straight out. And let's put the yoga strap around our right foot. So let's move the strap towards your heel, relax your foot. And as you pull the leg towards you, gently press that right knee away from you. Dissolving the tightness straight down the right hamstring. backing away, moving the strap towards the ball of your foot. Let's flex that foot, gently pull it in. Feel free to roll that foot out or in by pulling on one side. See which one deepens that half stretch for you. Exhale, release, and let's take it out to the right, looking over that left arm. Let's keep that left hip rolled down to the mat. Gently pull so your right toes aim to the wall behind you. And slowly let's hand that strap to your left hand. Take it across the body, glance to your right, gently pull. On your exhale, see if you can pull just that little bit more. And let's roll to the low back. Let's place both feet in the strap. And then with straight legs, just gently pull those legs towards you. Exhale, release. And let's place that right foot down. Let's move that strap towards your heel, relax your foot, and gently pull that left leg towards you. So you're pushing the left knee gently away as you're pulling that left leg towards you. As you back it away, let's move that strap towards the ball of your foot, get a good flex. And as you pull the leg towards you, let's roll the foot out or in. See which one deepens that left calf stretch. Good, big exhale. And let's hold the strap with your left hand, take it out to the left, look over to the right. And let's keep that right hip rolled down to the mat and gently pull. As you exhale, one more little pull. And let's go ahead and hand that strap to your right hand. Take it across the body and let's look over to the left. Gentle pull. Good, 
Feel that great stretch down your left IT band. And now let's release. Let's place the strap down. Let's bring those feet to the mat, farther away than your hips. Touch those ankles and just gently press up into your bridge. Really getting a good stretch through the hip flexors. Inhale, lift as high as you can. Exhale, just peel that spine down one vertebra at a time. And let's take straight arms between your knees. Grab onto your ankles or your feet. Let's take our elbows, gently press the knees apart and gently rock side to side. Happy baby. You can either stay here, or your first two fingers can make a hook with your big toe. And you can press those heels away from you, allowing those legs to relax. On an exhale, let's release the feet. And let's lengthen the body from fingertips to toes. So reach and see how long you can make yourself. On your exhale, let's slide those arms down near your side somewhere, palms up. Let's close your eyes. You've made it to your last pose, total resting pose. Let's honor the natural curve in your spine. So you're not trying to press that low back down. You're not trying to arch it up. And let's use our breath to try to release any tightness, anxious feelings, Stress. Let's just try to use our breath to let go of it over the next few minutes. At any point, if you get uncomfortable, feel free to adjust yourself when you need to. Let's pull that breath all the way to the top of the head. Exhale, let's let the breath flow across our forehead. Stream across your temples and roll across the back of your head. Flowing across your eyes, nose, and cheekbones. Rolling across the back of your jaw. Straight down the sides and back of your neck. Flowing across the top of your shoulders, allowing that chest to open up, and a release across your upper back. Feel the exhale flowing down your arms, rounding your elbows, straight down your forearms. Your wrists, palms, and the top of your hands. Between your fingers and all the way to your fingertips. Gently wiggling those fingers, allowing anything negative to escape through your fingertips. Feel the exhale flowing across your rib cage one rib at a time. Rolling across your sternum and your mid back. Across your waist, abdominals, small of your back. 
On an exhale, allow those hips and glutes just to mold to the mat. Totally relaxed. Release across your quadriceps and your hamstrings. nice and peaceful, noticing a new perspective on your day, you're ready to pick it up. So let's slowly come out of this, let's bend one knee, placing the foot on the mat, and allow the other knee to join it. And when you're ready, just roll yourself to one side, and then gently press up nice sitting position with a breath in exhale bringing your hands to your heart surrender everything in that head to your heart you guys have a great day thank you for coming namaste